Hello everyone, welcome to Physics is Fun. Today we will discuss a very interesting problem on projectile motion and kinematics. It's a cricketer problem. So suppose you think there is Virat Kohli who is standing on the field and he has hit a mammoth 6. Height of the player given is 1 meter. The player is at a distance 110 meter from the step, first step of the gallery. The ball has been hit with a velocity of 35 meter per second which makes an angle of 53 degree with the horizontal. Of course, the ball is an obliquely fired projectile. So, it follows a parabolic trajectory and hits one of the steps of this gallery. Now, the steps of this gallery, they are 1 meter long and 1 meter wide. The whole question which lies is where does this ball hit on the gallery? I mean, on which step does this ball drop after striking the gallery? So, one very important assumption that is often not mentioned in the question that the distance between the point from where the ball has got fired, suppose the ball has hit the middle of the bat. So, middle of the bat and uh, the foot of this player, this distance is negligible. <clears throat> we are neglecting it because the field is very long. So, we can neglect that distance. And the point from where the ball has been hit, that point is our origin. Now, question is where will this ball hit on the gallery that is on which step. So first and the foremost thing, <clears throat> I have drawn a tangent which is connecting the steps. If I see this tangent, what can I say? Very easily I can conclude that this angle must be 45 degree. Why? Because this is 1 meter, this is 1 meter. So perpendicular by base that is tan theta. If I say this angle is theta. So, tan theta is 1 by 1. So, therefore, this angle is how much? 45 degree. Now, question is, what is the equation of this tangent? See, if I say that this particular straight line is MP, P is this particular point whose coordinates are x, comma y. So, equation, equation of the tangent MP is I can say y is equals to slope is 1 mx. So, here I can say y equals to mx plus c. So, this tangent has uh, an x intercept and what is that x intercept or I should say that it, it, it has this uh, particular intercept it is intercepting this axis if I bring this if I draw this down. Or basically this way also I can imagine that if I consider this point as x. So this point distance between the first step and the point of hitting of the ball that is 110 meter. This is this distance is 1 meter 110 meter and distance from here to here is x. Right. So what is the distance between this point and this point? So it has to be x minus 110. Once again I am telling distance between the origin and this particular point that is x distance between the origin and the first step this is 110 so what is the distance from here to here that has to be x minus 110 okay and it has gone to what height the height is y with respect to this level so height is y and the distance is x minus 110 so, what we can say that y equals to mx. So, y equals to 1 into x minus 110. This is the equation of the tangent, which is my equation 1. Rather, we should put it in this way that you think that this is the first step. You think this is the first step. So, what I want to say is the distance between this and this means this whole distance from here to here. Okay. So, I am telling this distance is 110 meter. From here the gallery starts. Okay. 
so now from here to here is 110 meter but from here to here this is your x so what can i say that what is this distance from here to here from the point p up to the point p this is how much x minus 110 these are important concepts this is x minus 110 and if this is x minus 110 and this height of the player is 1 meter so actually it is at this level okay so this here this that means this level and the origin they are at the same level because the height of the player is 1 meter this is also 1 meter so from here from the origin to this point i can say that this is y And basically this distance that means from here to here this is x minus 110 so if I join this and I say that this angle is 45 degrees so tan 45 degrees perpendicular by base how much is the base x minus 110 right so tan 45 is 1 so y is equals to x minus 110 so that is the equation of the tangent next important thing if we see this particular point P the parabolic path of the trajectory has intersected the projectile uh, the tangent so what is the equation of this trajectory so equation of the trajectory y is equals to x tan theta minus gx square by 2u square cos square theta so what we can say y is equals to x tan of 53 degree minus 9.8 into x square divided by 2 into 35 square cos square 53 degree now you can solve this ok value of tan 53 is how much it is 4 by 3 we can say tan 53 is 4 by 3 we can take the value of g we have taken 9.8 right and here we have got cos square 53 degree so that is 9 by 25 if we simplify it we will get something like this y equals to 4x by 3 minus x square by 90 this is exactly what we are going to get please do it by yourself and see whether you are getting this equation or not just simplify it tan 53 is 4 by 3 and here we will do some cancellations and you will get this result so we got two equations so definitely from equation 1 and 2 we can equate their right hand sides so 1 comma 2 gives x minus 110 is equals to 4x by 3 minus x square by 90. So very clearly it is understandable that this is a quadratic equation. Now if we solve this quadratic equation we can find out the value of x. What is x? x is that particular point from the point of hitting where the ball strikes. Okay. So now if we solve this problem, this particular uh, quadratic equation, if we simplify it, we will get something like this. Okay. Quadratic equation, it is expected that all of you know how to solve it because uh, we are discussing problems at the plus two level. So I think I don't need to show you how to solve quadratic equations. These are, you all are pretty much familiar with solving of quadratic equation. If you solve it, you will get two roots of quadratic equation. One is 115.62 and the other one minus 85.62. Now x is non-negative, right? So according to our diagram, you see this is x. This distance from here to here, this is x. So therefore, what value we are getting? 115.62 meter. That's our answer. So the ball has hit the gallery after traveling a distance 115.62 meter now let us get into the analysis that means it has hit which step see 
from 110 meter that means from here the step has started so from 110 211 this is the first step this step is your first step so first step is from here to here 110 to 111 then 111 to 112 second step 112 so this is your second step so 112 to 113 third step 113 to 114 fourth step 114 to 115 fifth step and 115 to 116 is your sixth step okay please understand 110 to 111 first step 111 to 112 second step 112 to 113 third step 113 to 114 fourth step 114 to 115 fifth step and 115 to 116 is our sixth step so this ball goes up and hits the sixth step on the gallery so thus we conclude that the ball hits the sixth step of the gallery. This problem is not a difficult problem, but there is quite a bit of mathematical jugglery. So whenever you get this type of problem, what is the idea? First and the foremost thing, we will find the tangent which connects the edges of the step. And we will find that equation of that tangent. It's very, very important. This is my first step. My first step is starting from here. Okay. And from here to here, this is the field. This is the field area. Maybe this is the boundary line from here to here. Okay. This is the first step. Then second step. Then third step and so on. So at first we have found the equation of this tangent. And then we have found the equation of this parabolic trajectory. Where the ball hits the stadium. There the tangent intersects with this parabola. Our goal is to find out this point of intersection of tangent and the parabola. Once we get it. We can do this by solving a quadratic equation which has got two roots one negative root we will not get negative value of x so that's why we got the positive value of x which is this and by simple extrapolation of our logic we can understand that where this ball hits so this ball hits the sixth step of the gallery i hope you love this cricket match of physics and you understood where the ball will hit the gallery Thank you everyone and have a good day. Enjoy physics.